guys today we are talking about the google chromecast and it's available exclusively through snapdeal.com in india for just under 3000 now it's uh, launched not too long ago in india but it's quite prevalent and popular in the us now in us it cost about 35 dollars the usp of this device the main advantage the popularity uh, is because of the very aggressive pricing just under 3000 you get a very tiny device that can stream your online videos and other media content to your tv without any wire so uh you have the box there let's see chromecast and i see some native apps there it's available for android ios as well as for pc but on pc it runs uh, via the um, chrome browser for iOS and Android, you get dedicated apps. So that's how um, the getting started part. And that's our Chromecast dongle. So we'll just take this out. Yep, I don't see. It looks more or less like a pen drive, if you will, but it has an HDMI out, a full size HDMI out that will go into the HDMI port of your TV. You have a uh, micro USB cable and uh, the other side could go into your TV's USB cable to power this device. This device needs continuous power but you have two options, uh, either that go, going into the USB of your TV or you have um, the wall charger here so this can go here, this goes here and and this plugs into the HDMI port of the TV and this can plug, um, you know, plug into the power port. And then you also have an adapter. Okay. So that's about it on the packet really. So setting it up is quite easy. The first part I already explained and then you uh, switch to your TV to the HDMI mode. Or it actually automatically detects the moment um, you first insert this device and then connect the other end to a power source either to your uh, TV's USB port or uh, via the USB wall charger to a PowerPoint and then you can set it up using the app. So we'll talk about the app now while keeping the Chromecast along all the way and uh, they see you have Chromecast app it's available for iOS and Android and on PC you work via the Chrome browser as I told before. Now it's already scanning for Chromecast but when you first open the app and then register um, you, you know, you both remember both of these devices, both the Chromecast and uh, your phone should be on the same Wi-Fi connection, and your phone should not be running um, the three G connection, right? Because that that was actually in the troubleshoot FAQ Chromecast, and uh, when I first set this device up, I had the mobile connection on because I always have my three G on, then that actually interfered with the signal and with the overall casting so I switched it off once you switch this off and only switch on the Wi-Fi then everything is smooth it's very very easy the TV automatically detects um, um, the Chromecast and the app also automatically de detects once both of the devices are uh, connected to the same Wi-Fi and you have some of the apps that can cast its content via the Chromecast onto your TV. So you have, of course, the Google native apps like YouTube and Google Play Movies, Google Plus, but you also have Eros now, which has a huge collection of its uh, own production um, movies and TV serials and whatnot. You have Spool, India, Wiki, and you see most of these devices, Red Bull, are actually media streaming devices because um, that's what the purpose of the Chromecast is. Um, in the US you have lot lot more streaming options like for example you have um, Netflix which is a big um, and which is a big streaming service you also have lots of music streaming service there uh, not so much of music streaming in India but still uh, the app collection is only growing day by day so after your first setup whenever the next time you connect uh, your Chromecast you see the TV automatically creates a new HDMI channel call Chromecast and those are all your other channels so you can simply switch to that and when nothing is running your Chromecast will show these beautiful wallpapers that will keep scrolling after a period of time 
The next thing is to go to the app Chromecast and see it already recognizes my Chromecast because I've already registered it and then I've showed the discover app um, part already. I can also cast my mobile phone screen onto the TV and now it's gonna show the same thing. So if I go to home there you see it shows all the apps and everything. So if you simply want to you know cast your screen or reflect your screen on the TV you can also do that via Chromecast. I'm gonna tap to disconnect this and the Chromecast will go back to showing you those beautiful wallpapers because it's not actively in use. You can also change the backdrop it says no Chromecast found but that's fine so that's I guess one of the things that are still in development it not 100% of the time discovers my Chromecast but yeah more than 90% it could actually so it now see again it says personalized now it could find but the main thing is I'm gonna show you some of the apps now so let's say I go to YouTube and whenever you see um, this icon you know that that's a Chromecast supported app you see that's the casting icon so now let's see YouTube appears now whatever I play here let's say I play one of my videos that I made last time which is play there see so I can now enjoy the same video on a much bigger screen on my TV and without any wire. Hey what's up guys we have the brand new right? Xiaomi Mi. And also it uses the volume of the TV so you have that much bigger bassier volume that what you'd have got otherwise uh, you know from your phone. And then you have some other third party apps like let's say Eros now which has very large connect collection of movies and music and stuff. You can go to movies around here and there you see the cast icon there as well because it also supports Chromecast. So the moment you tap that now my TV is going to switch from YouTube to Eros now and you can watch any movie there of course I need to buy those but you get that it was now pro for two months when you buy it uh, so basically I need to log in and all those stuff anyway so uh, but one thing is that when you try to play music it says that Chromecast does not support music casting yet so that's the Chromecast guys it's not a whole lot but it's a great effective and very cheap and budget solution for streaming your online content from your portable device to your TV wirelessly. Now in the US it competes with the likes of Hulu and um, Apple TV which are much more expensive than this one but they also have more features. Not uh, much competition here in India. So this is one of the first runners um, I would say or the first market entrant in uh, this kind of a space and uh, being the backing of a brand Google it has every chance of doing great in the Indian market. I personally really love this small kit.